Whether you're petite or tall, your body is aging, you have a long torso, I'm going to be answering some of your most burning style questions in this episode of Netta Saves Style. Hi, this is Netta. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, the whole goal for this channel is to help you build a wardrobe and a style that you love so that you look beautiful and feel confident every single day. I'm so excited about today's video because I'm going to be diving into some questions that I get from viewers like you. If you ever want to send me a question, just send it to support at nettamanley.com and I will try to get to it in a future video. I often respond by email as well. I will always try to answer your questions. Um, another great way to share your questions is in my Facebook group. I have a private Facebook group Group that uh, people are I mean, it's such an active group and you know women share their questions every single day you can find out what other women are struggling with often we share the same struggles and you can share your own questions in there as well so the link to that is in the description box below um, I'd also like to let you know that I do have a style program where I guide women just like you women over 40 generally through the journey to transforming their style and getting that confidence in their style that we're all looking for right so that sounds like something that that's interesting to you, stay tuned. I will be sharing a short clip about it. But I'm really excited to dive into these questions because I know these are questions that many of you have because, you know, even though we think we all think that our bodies are uniquely challenging and difficult to dress, and, and, and they are unique, but that doesn't mean that um, we can't learn something from other women's struggles and that we don't have some commonalities in the things that are challenging to us about our bodies. So I'm very excited about sharing these questions with you. So the first question comes from Sarah. Now, Sarah says, um, she is a style dial red. That means she is a proportional hourglass body type. Um, she said, I'm a busy homeschooling mother of four kids. Hats off to you, Sarah. I homeschooled for years. I know what that's like, and I only had two. I'm 32 years old, 5'9", about 155 pounds, and have a long neck and long torso. Because of my long torso, it's hard for me to find or look good wearing leggings with a long shirt. Because of modesty, I won't wear leggings if my butt isn't completely covered. That's awesome because leggings are not pants. Um, I've been wearing skinny jeans for years now with flowing shirts, but with styles changing, I'm wondering what could I wear to keep looking youthful? Okay, so uh, Sarah, first of all, I want to reference or refer you to my long torso, short torso video, which I will link below, and my video on tall brands um, because there are some really great brands that cater specifically to women who are over 5'8, five, 5'9. Okay, that said, one of the things I would encourage you to do is to look at the vertical proportions you're playing with. So you have been wearing a long shirt with skinny jeans, and you've got a long torso already, so a long shirt over a long torso is going to kind of throw off the balance in your body. If what you're trying to do is balance out your long torso and make your legs look a little bit shorter, you're going to want to switch that proportion. Now, one of the things that I talk about is, um, you know, I talk about proportion a lot on this channel and the Fashion Fit Formula is a tool that I use that can really help you achieve the best lengths in your clothes, like the best length of a jacket, the best length of a top, the best length of a skirt or a dress. And so that's something that I would recommend and that I think you would find very helpful. So I'm going to pop the link up here, um, the URL up here um, on the on the screen so that you can get to that. But that said, think about the proportions of your body. Your body is, and if you look at your body in terms of thirds, your body is a two-thirds to one-thirds proportion. That's a very rough and general um, uh, way of looking at your proportion. Fashion Fit Formula gets into the specifics of your specific vertical proportions. But if you break your body into thirds and you think, okay, I've got a long torso, so my you know, top half of my body is roughly going to be two thirds of my body. And then my legs are going to be the lower one third, right? So when you're playing with um, outfit proportions and you're doing a tunic with leggings or a tunic with skinny jeans, then you're continuing that two thirds and one thirds proportion. Now the current stylish proportion in clothes is more of a one-third at the top and a two-third at the bottom proportion. And this is perfect for your body. So you're looking for tops that hit you at the waist or maybe even a little bit shorter and high-waisted pants. So what you're going to do is you're going to flip the proportion that currently exists in your body. And instead of doing a long shirt with you know, with, uh, that makes your legs look shorter, you're going to do a shorter shirt and longer pants. And so you're going to be lengthening your legs, shortening your torso, and making your body look more vertically proportional. So I'm going to pop up an example here of what a two-thirds, one-third outfit looks like. Again, you know, got a, a longer tunic and leggings. That's going to continue your long torso and make your legs look shorter. But if instead you pulled your, your waistline up 
with a higher waisted pant and wore a shorter top with it, you're going to reverse that proportion and you're going to have a beautiful flattering silhouette. So I would encourage you to look at something like the Levi's rib cage jeans or the Levi's wedgie jeans. Those are going to be great for you. There are a lot of great high-waisted styles of pants. You can even do a mom jean because you are young enough and tall enough to really be able to pull that look off um, beautifully. I definitely recommend the Mott and Bow mom jeans, I think they are amazing and they are super, super comfortable. So doing a higher waisted or higher rise jean like the, the mom jeans from Mott & Bow or the Levi's ribcage jeans with a shirt that comes at the waist or just above the waist um, is going to be a really great new go-to silhouette for you. You can also do the same type of silhouette with pants. Um, there are a lot of high-waisted styles of pants in, in stores right now. So depending on how dramatic you want to go, you can do a high-waisted wide leg pant. As a style dial red, a wide leg will be beautiful on you. You can also look at a boot cut or boot leg pants or jean that comes up high on the waist. My personal favorite, I'm um, also a style dial red, is the um, Blue Canyon or Blue Ridge Canyon from Paige. I'll, I'll put the exact jeans below. I have worn them on my Instagram many times. Uh, I have actually a shorter torso and longer leg, so the opposite of you, but I am proportional horizontally like you are. And that is a great higher waisted jean that can be really, really flattering on a style dial red body type. So I hope that helped you. I'm going to put even more detail about this in the description box below. Definitely check out my videos for tall and um, long and short torsos. The other thing I would encourage you to know is if you are tall, but you have your length is mostly in your torso and you, you maybe feel like you'll have shorter legs at that point, it's really important to know what your inseam length is. So you want to go on a site like Search by Inseam and look specifically at your inseam length to find jeans and pants that are going to be the right length for your body. Just because you're tall doesn't mean your legs are necessarily tall. And just because you're petite like I am doesn't mean your legs are necessarily short. We, need, we all need to know our inseam lengths so that we can shop successfully for pants online or wherever we're, we're shopping for them. So know your inseam length, you may be able to wear jeans or pants in regular sizes and not have to shop tall stores for jeans and pants, but you may always have to shop tall stores for tops and uh, jackets. So that's the opposite of me. I don't always have to sh shop petite for pants because my legs are relatively long, but, I, but in general, petite tops and jackets are always going to be better for me because I have a shorter torso. So you need to know where you're petite, where you're tall, where your you know where where your length is in your body, so that you can shop accordingly. So I hope that was helpful. Thank you, thank you so much for the question, Sarah. Like I said, I'll get into a little bit more detail in the blog post. Um, so definitely check that out. And I'm so excited to to connect with you here um, and um, answer your question. So I'm going to move on to the next question, which is sort of the opposite. This this um, reader or viewer sort of has the opposite problem. My next question is from Mary. Mary says that she's short, she's 5'1", and um, overweight. She's lost 50 of the 100 pounds that she gained. That's a huge accomplishment, especially at 5'1". That has to feel, you have to have so much more energy now and feel so much better after having lost 50 pounds. Huge accomplishment, big shout out to you, that's amazing. She said she's 79 years old and she likes casual classic clothes. My problem is that I have short, very short legs that have always been muscular. Muscular is awesome. Um, long waisted for my size and knees and legs that will always be lumpy from multiple surgeries. Okay, um, and a tummy that is slowly diminishing but will never be flat. I hear you on the tummy. Um, help, what are the best pants for me and tops? Okay, so you have a long torso and shorter muscular legs. My suggestion would be to consider a high rise or high waisted pant that will conceal and cover your tummy area and lengthen your leg, um, especially if you wear a, a leg that a pant leg that has a little bit of volume in it, maybe a wide leg pant that's a little higher, like a palazzo pant with a shirt that hits at the waist. That's gonna be a beautiful silhouette for you. It will hold your stomach in, it will skim over your muscular legs, it will lengthen your legs because you've raised the waistline up on your legs. Similar to what I said for Sarah, even though you're very different heights, you both have long torsos and short legs. So vertically, you have a little bit in common. 
So you want to bring that torso length up, make it look a little shorter, and accentuate your legs, lengthen your legs. So again, higher waist, uh, a leg with a little bit of volume in it, a palazzo pant or wide leg pant is going to be beautiful. And then a, a, a top that hits at the waist a little bit so that you are um, drawing the line up a little bit higher, lengthening your legs, shortening your torso, making your body overall appear a little bit more proportional. Another advantage, like I said, of the high-waisted pant is that it's really going to kind of hold your stomach in. There isn't going to be anything hanging out there. And so there are so many higher-waisted pants. Whatever your favorite retailer is right now, um, I will link a few below, but I know that every single brand has a high-waisted pant right now. And so you can find them at wherever you shop and at an affordable price for your budget. So um, I definitely recommend trying them. Uh, my favorites right now are the Everlane Dream Pants. I think they are super, super comfortable. You might want something with a little bit more um, fit though around the waist where the Everlane Dream Pant is a little bit, has a, a little bit of a looser fit around the waist. If you want something that holds your stomach in a little bit more, I would consider brands like Cut From The Cloth and Wit and & Wisdom and Not Your Daughter's Jeans. They all have, and Spanx, they all have pants that are designed to really hold that tummy area in and lengthen your legs. So I'll get into a little bit more detail about that in the blog post. But again, we are always looking at those vertical proportions. I would definitely encourage you at 5'1 to consider the Fashion Fit formula. I think it's a game changer for everyone who has used it. it will really give you a good length for your tops, a good length for your bottoms, so that your body looks more vertically proportional. So it's a challenge that many, many of us have. And thank you so much for sharing your question with me. I hope that was helpful. Helpful. Again, check the blog post for even more detail about this. The last question for today is from Tracy. Tracy says that she is, is struggling with today's styles for her aging figure. She said, I've gained a bit of weight and it makes it harder to feel confident in or out of your clothes. I get that. Totally get that. I also like to design on a budget. Um, she says that, you know, these current styles are a challenge for her body. Now, what I want to encourage all of you to do is to really look at your body um, object as objectively as possible. And yes, you can put on weight all over or you can put on weight in specific parts of your body. So you want to know, where am I gaining the weight? Where, What am I finding hard to flatter about my body the way that it currently looks? My encouragement always is to not wait to lose the weight to start working on your style because style can be a catalyst for some of your other goals. Now, if you are finding that some of the current styles are not working for you, I will tell you that I have never seen such diversity in terms of pants, silhouettes, in terms of dresses, in terms of lengths as I do this season. I mean, there is literally something out there for every single person. So definitely um, look at your body objectively. What I would encourage you to do, Tracy, is to is to give me a little bit more information about your body, but figure out what your body silhouette looks like. Are you mostly carrying your shape in your lower half of your body? If so, I would say consider the new straight leg jeans that are out right now and wear them with an interesting or pretty top. If you feel like your body is a little bit more um, straight going up and down, then consider something with ruching and interesting um, detail at the shoulders and the, the hips so that you can define the waist. If you feel like your body is proportional from top to bottom, then consider simple, um, clean silhouettes that really show off your body's proportions. But you want uh, we need to know a little bit more about your body type to really fully flatter your body. But there is no no substitute for the, the following tips that I'm going to share for everyone who's struggling with getting dressed in, in 2022 with a body that is aging. And let's face it, that is all of us. So what the first thing I would say is to try on a lot of clothes and a lot of brands. Try on styles you never thought you could wear. Try on styles that you've never considered wearing. Try on styles you're, you're totally on the fence about, but just try on a lot of clothes from a lot of brands at a lot of stores. Just try things on and then this is the second and very, like pretty much the most important rule. Um, you almost have to follow this rule if you're, if you're, um, if you're following me on YouTube. Like it, this, is, this is my cardinal rule. Don't ever put anything on your body without taking a picture of it. You need to know what that item looks like and you need to be able to look at it again later and get that kind of information about what works on your body. If you're not taking daily selfies, start today. Start today, take a picture of your outfit 
every single day. You're going to very quickly learn what works on you and what doesn't. Then go into stores, try on things, and take pictures of what you're trying on. You're going to very quickly learn what works and what doesn't for your body. So clothes in, in stores right now are really diverse and there is something for every single person. So knowing what your body looks like horizontally and then knowing your vertical proportions, knowing what fits and flatters your body, that's all going to be really key to choosing to navigating the the excess of options that we have in stores and really making the choices that are going to work the best for your body. So I would encourage you if you're struggling to check out my Ageless Style program. It is the most supportive place to really rediscover your style, get back in touch with what makes you look and feel your absolute best, get style support from me and a community of women who are going through the same um, the same style journey that you're on and really start that that path to building a wardrobe that you love that really makes you excited to get up and get dressed every morning and that will help you feel confident and beautiful every single day. So I hope that you'll consider that. You will find more information about it in the description box below as always and I go into more detail about these questions in my blog post. It's always linked in the description box. Just hit the title if you're on your phone. It opens up on your computer. Click show more and it will open up and you can see all of the details that I put in the description box. I always try to pack it with helpful information so don't miss that thank you guys i love you as always um, thank you for for joining me in today's video don't forget to hit the like button the subscription the subscribe button uh, don't forget to comment and um, hit the notification bell i upload new videos every tuesday and every friday i'll see you in the next video Hi, this is Netta and I'm so excited to tell you about my Ageless Style program. As of this date, over a thousand women have explored their personal style, figured out what works for their bodies, and become confident in their style over 40 using my Ageless Style program. It is the only program of its kind in the industry and I'm so proud of it. It includes community, accountability, and plenty of support from me in the form of body type analysis, color analysis, all of the things. Everything that you need to get your style to the confident and relaxed and effortless place that you want it to be over 40 is included in the Ageless Style program.